Hi everyone! Muli ay salamat sa inyong patuloy na pagsubaybay dito sa ating ginagawang discussion about statics of rigid bodies. Ang tatalakay natin ngayon ay isang magandang problem sapagkat sa pamagitan ng konsept ng inyong makukuha sa problem na ito ay makatutulong sa inyo para mas mabilis inyong masol ang mga problem na kagaya ng ipakikita ko sa inyo. Ito ang problem. Determine the tension in each of the cable that support the 150 kN load as shown. So kung mapapasin natin, ano, meron tayo dito isang 150 kN load that is supported by different cables. So we have here T sub 1 making an angle of 45 degrees with respect to the horizontal. Another T sub 2 that is supported, that is directed at 40 degrees with respect to the horizontal which is in return supported by two more cables T sub 3 and T sub 4 with a given direction as shown. So in this problem, we shall be solving for T sub 1, T sub 2, T sub 3, and T sub 4. Gaya nga ng sinabi ko, ang ganda rin klase ng problem ay mabilis nating masusundan o masusol kung nauunawaan natin ang konsepto kung paano siya isolve. Kaya gawin natin ito sa pamagitan ng pagbabalik tanaw do sa ating uh, pinag-aralan na equilibrium of three concurrent force system. Let us imagine that we have here a general condition of equilibrium of three concurrent force system. Imagine that we have here okay, F, Q, and P that intersect at this point and whose directions are indicated such that Q is inclined at an angle theta with respect to the horizontal, while P is inclined at angle beta with respect to the horizontal. With this condition, let us try to imagine how much angle that this Q and P will be making with respect to an extended K extended K direction of F. So that if we will be defining this angle, K, this angle will be equal to 90 minus theta because this angle and that angle are complementary angles or the sum of which is equal to 90 degrees. Similarly, this angle shall be equal to 90 minus beta because this angle and this angle are also complementary angles. Now let us try to find out okay, if we will be drawing the force triangle that will represent okay, this force system and let us try to draw it this way. Imagine that we have here drawn our force triangle such that this is our F, this is our Q, and this is our P. I'd like you to look at this angle. How much is this angle that Q will be making with respect to the horizontal? It is making an angle of theta. And therefore, this angle shall be equal to 90 minus theta. Similarly, we will be drawing horizontal line at this point such that okay, the direction of P will be inclined at angle beta with respect to the horizontal. Therefore, this angle shall be equal to beta. Similarly, this angle shall be equal to the same angle that Q is making with respect to the horizontal. Hence, this angle will also be equal to theta. And that the third angle of the triangle will be equal, okay, will be equal to 90 minus beta because this angle will also be the same as this angle. Now from this force triangle, we can, we can have the relationship between P, Q, and F, okay, and the angle, the interior angle between the triangle so that, okay, we will have F is to the sign of the opposite angle. The opposite angle is the sum of beta and alpha shall be proportional to the ratio of P is to sine of the opposite angle. The opposite angle of P is equal to 90 minus theta and also equal to the ratio of Q over the sine of 90 minus beta. If this is Q and the opposite angle is here, therefore that is 90 minus beta. I'd like you to look at this K relationship that we have established. I'd like you to look at where is this? We're going to analyze further this resulting equation. Let us try to recall. Now, let us try to recall. 
we are going to look at this okay sine of theta plus beta where are this angle in the original force system take note that i am talking of the original force system meaning i am talking of this okay figure theta and beta are actually okay this angle that represents the inclination of p and q from a normal to the direction of f the magnitude of the opposite angle to f shall be equal to the inclinations of p and q from its normal whereas if we're going to take note of okay this equation 90 minus theta is found here which is actually equal to the angle that q is making with respect to the direction of the f this is this angle 90 minus theta and it is the opposite of the k side p while for q sine of 90 minus beta if we're going to look at the illustration it is the angle that p will be making with respect to the line drawn in the direction of f and this is this angle so that if we're going to use that concept that derived concept to determine the tensions in the cable t1 and t2 these cables t1 and t2 in the original force system let us try to draw a line along the direction of k150 because if we are to write that is 150 is to sign of certain angle shall be equal to t sub 1 is to sign of the opposite angle shall be equal also to the sign of t sub 2 divided by the sign of the opposite angle of t sub 2 but what is the opposite angle of k150 we are going to look at the original figure okay let us try to find out if this is the line drawn along the direction of 150 then this angle will be equal to 45 while this angle shall be equal to 50 and the opposite angle of the side 150 shall be the sum of 45 and 40 so that if this will be okay added there then you will have sine of 145 plus 40 furthermore t sub 1 is there here is our t sub 1 and what is the opposite angle of t sub 1 the opposite angle of t sub 1 shall be this 50 so that if this be that will be placed there so you will have t sub 1 over sine 50 similarly i have t sub 2 and t sub 2 is there and what is the opposite angle of t sub 2 the opposite angle of t sub 2 is 45 so that when it is written there it becomes the equation so when you have the equation you can easily solve for t sub 1 so that t sub 1 will be 115.3456 and t sub 2 shall be equal to 106.4712 kilonewton now what about if we are to solve okay for the magnitude of t sub 3 and t sub 4 using the same concept that we just have derived okay so how are we going to do it okay so our target is to define the angle that this t sub 4 and t sub 3 will be making with the line that is drawn along the direction of t sub 2 let us try to find out if t sub 2 makes an angle of 40 degrees with respect to the horizontal therefore this angle will also be equal to 40 degrees but this is already 20 degrees therefore the angle that t sub that t sub 4 will be making with this k direction will will be equal to 20 degrees furthermore furthermore the angle that t sub 3 will be making with this knowing that t sub 3 is making a total angle of 70 because this is 70 okay if we will be subtracting 7 from 70 the magnitude of 20 and 20 therefore this angle will be equal to 30. so we, hold, we already have taken the magnitude of the angle that t sub 4 and t sub 3 will be making with the line drawn along the direction of t sub 2. now if you are going to draw from here a line that is perpendicular to t sub 2 and that is the direction how much therefore is this angle from this from this up to that from t sub 3 up to this angle and that would be equal to 60 because the total angle between this and that would be equal to 90 but there is already 30 here therefore this angle must be 60. similarly the total angle from this blue one up to this blue should also be 90 but there is already 20 okay 
20 here. Therefore, the total angle from this case side, T sub 4, to this blue one shall be equal to 70. Now, if you are to use now these angles in defining the relationship between okay, the magnitudes of T sub 2, T sub 3, and T sub 4 using, of course, the sine law, then you shall have this relationship. T sub 2 is the sine of the opposite angle, shall be proportional to the sine of T sub, uh, shall be proportional to T sub 3 is the sine of the opposite angle, and also proportional to T sub 4 is the sine of the opposite angle. But the question is, what will be the opposite angle of T sub 2? It will be the sum of 60 and 30. So that if this will be added there, okay, you will have sine of 130. And what is the the opposite sine of T sub 3? The opposite sine of T sub 3 will be the angle that T sub 4 will be making with respect to the direction of T sub 2. And this is 20 degrees. Hence, that will be equal to 20 degrees there. Similarly, what will be the sign of, sorry, the opposite side of T sub 4? The opposite side of T sub 4 shall be the angle that T sub 3 will be making with respect to this angle, to this line. And therefore, that is equal to 30 degrees. If 30 degrees will be substituted there, then we shall have the relationship between T sub 2, T sub 3, and T sub 4. Because T sub 2 is already computed to be at 106.4712. We can now solve for T sub 3 and T sub 4 using this relationship such that T sub 3 will be 45.53679 and T sub 4 shall be equal to 69.49414 kilonewton. So that is how we solve the problem guys. Ano? At nakita nyo with the technique that you have just seen. Okay, in uh, solving the problem, you shall be able to solve it very, very fast. As a matter of fact, with constant practice, you can solve that problem within a minute time. And that would be helpful because whenever you will be taking your board examination, you will have enough time for other problems because this kind of problem can just be solved in just one minute. Thank you for watching.